Beautiful beach glam glasses. Oh, I'm so awkward today. Today we have something kind of different for you guys. We've never done a makeup tutorial ever. Um, but it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Well, I created a nighttime look for you guys that I thought would go really well with this top that I'm wearing. Well, it's not really a top, it's a sarong, but I made it into a top. It is our purple and green ombre sarong. Um, and I thought this look would go really well with it. It's just a smoky eye and pretty nude pink lip. Um, classy, I think. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So I'm starting out this look with my foundation already on and my contour already on. So this tutorial is just going to be strictly about the eyes. The very first thing that I'm doing is going in with this gold shade right here from my e.l.f. palette on the entire lid but really focusing on the inner corner of my eye and underneath the inner corner as well. Next, I'm going to be going in with this brown shade right here from the exact same e.l.f. palette and I'm putting this into my crease and really focusing on the outer edge of my crease. I'm using this color as a transition shade because we're going to be using black and black is really hard to blend out um, unless you have like a brown or a gray or something to blend it out with. I totally forgot to say what brushes I'm using. So the brush I just used for this brown color is the Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. It's just like a really fluffy brush, super, super good for blending. And the brush that I used for the gold shimmer shade is the e.l.f. Contour Brush, which is pretty dense and really good for packing on pigment. Next, I'm using an Essence of Beauty Large Concealer Brush, which is just this flat brush that looks like that and I'm dipping it into this black shade on the same e.l.f. palette and I'm just going to be running this into the outer V of my eye as well as into the crease but not as spread out as the brown shade is and this is going to be a lot easier to blend out now that the brown is there We're gonna blend this out in one second, so no worries if you have any harsh lines, but um, we're gonna take the same brush and the same color and just run this underneath our bottom waterline. So now, as promised, we're going to blend this out, and I'm going to be using the same e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush that I used to put on the brown shade to just blend the black and the brown together. Next up, I'm going to be using my Love & Beauty Black Gel Eyeliner. Um, this is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite favorite gel eyeliner. Um, it's really, really cheap. It costs like $3 or something and it stays on forever and is really pigmented. And I'm going to be using that with my e.l.f. small precision brush, um, which is just like any other 
gel eyeliner brush you would find. So first I'm going to be using this on my waterline. I know you're not supposed to pull down on your eye when you do this, but I can't do it any other way. So deal with that when I get older. In addition to using this in my waterline, um, I'm actually going to draw a slight inner wing just by running my brush um, into the inner corner and down towards my nose a little bit. And then I'm also just going to be running this on the upper part of my eyelid, but only on the inner corner. So because I wanted this to be a smoky eye, I didn't really want to use a heavy black wing on the top. So instead, I'm just going to be taking the same eyeliner on the same brush and donning it onto my upper lash line. And I'm only going to be doing this on the outer half just to thicken up the lash line. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Something. It's the one that looks like this. Um, I've been using this for years and I will never ever use a different mascara. It works so well. And this is in the shade Black is Black. I almost dropped my mirror. Black is Black. I'm going to put on quite a bit of this. Um, two coats, maybe, but... I don't consider it a coat until I'm done with one eye and I move on to the next one. So really, it's like a lot of coats. <laughs> next up, I'm going to be using the same highlighter for my under eyebrow arch highlight and my face highlight which is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I hated this product at first until I learned how to use it. So I'm just donning it underneath the arch of my eyebrows. And then for my cheekbones, I'm just going to be applying it with an e.l.f. stipple brush to the top of my cheekbones. I'm also going to run just a tiny bit of it down the center of my nose. So for my lips, I'm going to be combining a couple of different products. Um, I'm using the MAC St. Germain first, and then I'm going to be topping that off with this MAC lip gloss in the shade Lip Jelly. I don't know. It's a beautiful color. I've got no clue why I apply gloss with my fingers. It's way messier than just applying it straight out of the tube. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and let us know if you want to see more videos like this uh, or more makeup tutorials and we'll do that for you guys. 
Once again, happy Thursday, have a good weekend, and a good 4th of July if you live in America, and if not, have a good 4th of July anyways. So yeah, go out and party and wear some cool eye makeup and a cool top, like this one, from beachland.com. <laughs> Bye guys.